To find the proper dead zone for the game you are playing, you will first need to open the XAIM plugin and navigate to the layout of which you need to tune. Next you will need to go into the Layout Options tab and select Mouse Settings. You will first need to be sure to match your mouse DPI to the speed your mouse is using and set the dead zone's shape to rectangle. This will allow us to better see the movement of each axis when finding our dead zones. You will then need to change the radius of the circle test to 1, set the speed to 50, and then enable the circle test. Make sure that the lock XY option is unchecked and start raising the value of your X axis until your player is looking left and right in game. You will now need to take note of this value and reset back to zero. You will now need to raise the dead zone of your Y axis until your player is looking up and down in game. You can now input the X axis dead zone back into your settings, disable the circle test, and lock your X and Y axis values in the dead zone settings. The final step is to change the dead zone shape back to what your game uses. Battlefield 4 uses the ellipse shape. From here you will just need to go into capture mode, get a feel for your mouse, and fine tune the dead zone to your personal preference. After you are happy with your dead zone, you will then need to set your mouse smoothness. Smoothness can be thought of as how much my reticle movement is affected by previous actions. With a high smoothness, you will have very fluid mouse movements, but with a lower reaction speed. With a low smoothness, your mouse will have quicker reaction speeds, but with jerky movements. For first person shooter games, I would recommend starting with a smoothness of 22 with a 1.0 XY ratio. You can go into capture mode and move your mouse to see how it responds in game. You will still need to adjust the remaining settings before the final tuning of your mouse. Next we will adjust the acceleration. Acceleration can be thought of as holding the thumbstick slightly versus pulling the thumbstick fully to one side. With a higher acceleration, slow mouse movements will be fine tuning your aim while fast movements will be turning your character. With a lower acceleration, slower mouse movements will be turning your character slightly, while fast movements will be turning your character much more. I suggest starting with an acceleration of 0 0.80 with a 1.10 locked XY ratio. The final step is to adjust your sensitivity. With a higher sensitivity, Slight movements of the mouse will turn your character quickly. With a lower sensitivity, slight movements of the mouse will turn your character only a small amount. I suggest starting with a sensitivity of 4.10 with a 1.15 locked XY ratio. From here you will just need to go into capture mode, move your mouse around, and continue fine tuning your settings using the information provided in this tutorial. You can visit the link in the description below to find more useful mouse and keyboard GPC scripts provided by the Cronus Max Plus community.